Hello, my name is Sean Braden. I'm the Vice President of Maintenance and Manufacturing for Harbor Air and Harbor Aerospace. And here we have our electric beaver. AOPA keeps flying safe, accessible, and fun by protecting your freedom to fly. We are the most trusted one-stop resource for all things related to general aviation. Become an AOPA pilot today. This is a prototype here, static display, this particular one. And it's what we are building to get STC to be one of the first commercial airplanes to carry passengers, we hope. We intend to have this one get STC hopefully towards the end of 2026 to be able to carry three passengers and a pilot. And then shortly thereafter, we're going to be replacing the batteries. And we want to get into about a six passenger payload and be able to do a half hour flight tour wise and be able to do a half hour turn by early 2027. That's our goal. Right now we have another one of these that does fly. So far the longest flight we've done is 35 minutes and it's got a 30 minute reserve after about 30 minutes. We call it a one hour long mission, including reserve is what it's good for right now. So this project started years ago. We Our prototype first flew in 2019 and we got started after Greg McDougal, the founder of Harbor Air, decided that we should really look at this electric aviation. He got himself a Tesla, was so impressed at how it performed, how well it did, the range. We started reaching out to other companies that made electric motors and batteries. We ended up getting connected with Magnet. You can see their name on the side. Great group of people. We work extremely well with them. And they've been working with us to develop this motor. On this one here, the static, this has the Magni 650 motor. This is the latest version of their motor. Our pro flying prototype still has a Magni 500, just slightly older than this one. The motor's capable of 750 horsepower, if you want to put it in horsepower numbers. And on our installation, we've detuned it to 450 horse. We've made everything on this airplane to be as close to the factory stock to Haviland Beaver as we could, so that we have less changes, less questions, less stuff to deal with when it comes to getting this STC issued and certified. The airframe is exactly the same as stock. We've done nothing to the airframe except for the firewall forward for the different engine mount. We're still making 450 horse. We're still within the standard STC 5,600 pound gross weight Beaver CFG range. Everything we've done is very similar to all of the piston Beavers that we operate now just a different power plant. So as you can see in the dash, it's still a beaver. That We haven't changed the dash too much, but some of the controls have changed. We now only have two controls, our power control and our propeller control. So we can still manually control the propeller from fine pitch, set it to whatever RPM we want, but now we do have a feather position, whereas the piston beaver does not have that. We've got dead stop on the engine. We bump the throttle up, it idles at a low idle. We have high idle, and then we can go all the way to full power. And the pilot doesn't need to stop. He just goes right to the stop and sets it, and the motor will go to full power automatically. There's no setting it like a piston at 36 and a half inches of manifold pressure or in a turbine at a specific torque limit. This just goes to full power, and it will go to the torque limit. Obviously, there's no hand wobble pump or fuel pump. There's no fuel selector. There's no mag switch. All of that stuff's gone. We now are just all electric switches to turn on the four inverters, to turn on the um, uh, battery banks, and then to enable the motor. And once the motor's turned on and enabled, this lever becomes live. So as soon as you go motor enable, now you move this up and the propeller starts turning. This one will also have an emergency shutoff that in the event of an emergency, you turn off the power, it shuts off all power, and you can deal, hopefully deal with whatever that situation is. Other than that, yeah, it's pretty much all the same. In this dis one year, we have our engine display and we'll have soon have all the battery and all the engine uh, data that we need displayed on here. On our prototype, we have two screens all of the engine, all of the battery. Um, the prototype is just set up a little bit differently just because it's a flying test bed. One of the questions we get a lot is, how does the airplane fly? And the airplane is a de Havilland Beaver. When we put the electric power plant on it, it flies just like all the rest of the de Havilland Beavers. The one nice thing though, of course, we do produce more thrust with the propeller and the shape 
of the cowling and all that. We're more efficient. We produce more thrust for the exact same horsepower. We're still making 450 horse, but we're making more thrust. So we get off the water faster, we climb faster, and we cruise faster for the same horsepower. This has made a big change in how our endurance. Thus, now we can cruise at say 105 miles an hour at a much lower power setting than a piston beaver would need to be at. So that's is what given us this longer range versus the piston on the for the same power setting. The performance of the engine is phenomenal. It's smooth. It's very easy to operate. Much easier than a piston, and in a lot of ways easier than a turbine. The, for the pilot, it's super simple. It's so far been extremely reliable. We are making sure we're being very cautious with our prototype, with the flying we're doing. We're inspecting everything post-flight, pre-flight, lots of testing, lots of downloading data, lots of watching everything very closely to make sure we don't cause any problems that would just delay this thing eventually being certified. Everybody is pulling on the rope in the same direction and we're doing really well at getting to this certified state but we know it's going to be a challenge just the certification rules and standards don't really exist and we're, we're getting there the biggest challenges with this aircraft is by far the batteries trying to get a lot of energy stored inside this airplane without all of the weight the batteries are of course are very heavy and you're trying to store a lot of power in these batteries that is one of the biggest challenges the other one is we're working with Transport Canada, the YAZA, and the FAA, all these different groups, and with the ASTM standards committees, trying to write the standards, or help write the standards, and write the rules for how these airplanes are going to be certified. A lot of the rules haven't been written, and they're still trying to establish what those rules are. By building this airplane and working with all of these um, parties, we're helping blaze that path and that's one of the key things that this is doing is helping blaze that path for ourselves and for everybody else that's going to eventually get involved in electric aviation.